looks wonderful. Let's take a look at all our macaronis. Here's our nests. Our noodles. And our bow tie. And I'm going to play a little game here of cooking two in one. Now I've got two pastas cooking in the same pot. My little ravioli, which won't take too long, along with my nests. Bring that back to a boil. I can shift that in here. You have to synchronize everything to make sure that you're working in the space that you have available to get everything done. So not having an additional pot I'm doing these little raviolis right in the, in the same pot as one of the other macaronis, which is uh, uh, perfectly fine. Macaroni is the staple for so many cuisines. I'm going to get a little cleanup going while we're, um, while we're talking. So many cuisines um, use some form of, of a, a macaroni uh, as, a, as a starch and as a mainstay. My favorite, of course, is the one that I grew up with, and that's Italian. I think we still eat macaroni three times a week. And depending on the sauces or gravies that go with it, um, it really can change dramatically. Difference between a sauce and a gravy. I'm making three sauces here. Had I made a pot of good old-fashioned tomato gravy with meatballs and sausage, uh, we would need to uh, cook that for a couple of hours. So that's when I call them a gravy. The difference between gravy and sauce, in my mind, is that the sauce is something that cooks up quickly, as we did with these three. And don't let us forget the alia ulia in the back, which we're going to use with these little nests. The gravies, however, need to cook for much longer periods of time. And um, think of roasting a turkey or a roast beef, and you, um, you make a gravy out of those uh, extracted liquids that take hours. So difference between gravies and sauces are just that. It's really the amount of time that they cook. I'll make it a little bit less noisy in here. We're coming down into the home stretch. Um, I believe my little raviolis are done nicely here. I remember I said we're going to finish these right in the same pots that they were cooked in. So we're going to put our little raviolis into our sauce with the peppercorns. And our little nests. right into our alia ulia. Look at that. Oh, that's just to die for. Put this over here. Remember, that's just warmed oil and very, very thinly sliced garlic. These wonderful noodles. These look like I got a little piece of uh, spaghetti in there too. But that's okay. It's all macaroni. If you think about this dish, a couple of little sage leaves, a couple of drops of lemon, some butter. Yes, I've made way too much sauce for this amount of macaroni, but I want you to get the full effect of doing it for, you know, four portions. This one is so simple, so gorgeous. I'm going to turn this one right out here. Let's take another look. Now 
now our farfalli. It's a good thing my son isn't here. He'd eat one of these before we even finished. Get a little bit of room and change hands. I don't know if I can flip this. It's a little bit full. Oh, yeah, it's coming. Oh, lost only one. That's not bad. Look at how rich and creamy this is. This is that lemon butter with the pink peppercorns. Oh, God, I barely had to touch it. It's not good. Our alia ulia. With the garlic. I can hear my stomach actually growling. Look at this. I don't want to lose any of those little pieces of garlic. It's like gold. It's like gold. Oh, and this one. You know, I was going to say, boy, this one's my favorite, but then I want to say that one's my favorite. I like them all. I think I could eat this every single day. That's the dishes for that. Alia Ulia. I'm just going to add a tiny bit. You know, it doesn't need anything, but a little bit of parsley. little cracked pepper, a little cracked pepper over this one, and a little cracked pepper over this one. And finally, finally, let's see, ah, I think just this one, a little bit of shaved cheese. You know what, I'll put a little one on this one too. This is actually an Argentinian Parmesan cheese, which is called sardo. It's made with cow's milk. It's very sweet. You can just eat it as a table cheese. You know what? I'm going to put a little bit of cheese on this one. I'm sorry. I can't help it. I just love cheese. Okay. I think I've got everything done. Clean off my board a little bit here. This is a feast for a king. We've got four quick, now they're pasta dishes, because now I could get $18 for any one of these plates. When we started, it was macaroni, you eat it in my house, it's 50 cents for a whole bowl. But now we're eating pasta. We have the mini ravioli, or any kind of filled pasta you want, with the uh, orange cream sauce with a little lemon zest and pink peppercorns. We've got the, the spicy mix with green olives and pork, uh, with the bow ties, the farfalli. We've got the sage butter with some walnuts over some noodles, a little tiny bit of lemon in that one, and yes, the classic alia ulia, which is simply oil and garlic. Um, folks, this is, this is the way you need to eat. I mean, take a look at this. You could make all of this for a very, uh, very small amount of money, and people will just fall in love with your cooking. I'm David Martone. You're watching Cooking Time. Thank you, and happy eating.